Hello and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Here at Crooked House Gaming, we like to explore the gameplay of simulation games, usually through a series of Let's Plays. If this sounds like something that you're interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome! And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any future episodes. Today, we're going to continue to focus on the gameplay of the tenants. So let's dive in! Here we are back in Wondersville. We are still working on the Playing for High Stakes achievement. We're supposed to reach a monthly cash flow of $12,000. We have a negative cash flow of $2,391 because we lost one of our tenants a few episodes ago and we have to get over there and renovate. Let's uh, begin renovating. We want to make this into a two bedroom flat so I'm just going to start selling stuff because it's depreciated so much. I'm selling all of the items in the kitchen. I'm going to put the the bedroom in this corner. So there's going to be a tiny little bedroom for whoever moves in. Right, it's going to be right here. Uh, Agnes has sent us the money for the period. Thank you, Agnes. I am going to put the door right here. We are going to give them some real doors. We're going to give them this white door and this white door right here. Let's give them some stars in this room. I'm just going to leave the floors the same. Do something different in the kitchen. I sell this table and these chairs because we're going to have to maximize the kitchen. I think I'm going to do a blue linoleum in here. I'm going to do this gray wall in here. Make it sort of neutral brightens up the place. I'll move the speaker here. Yeah, I can't really move the electrical box anywhere where it's not taking up ginormous amount of space. Let me move this over here. Let me see if I can move that over there. Can I move it here? I can. We have a refrigerator from our other apartment that they didn't want. We're gonna put the refrigerator over here. We have a stove unit from our other apartment. Okay, so we'll put the stove unit there. I fixed the kitchen. Let's see if I can fit a table and chair in here. If I move this plant, I move the plant there. I could probably move this table right there. And let's see if we can put in some chairs. See if it blocks anything. Oh no, it's mad. It's saying no. Zara has sent us the money for the period. So we have a table and a chair at a weird angle. I am going to put some lights over the kitchen sink area. I could put a clock over the kitchen table. We could put a ficus on the kitchen table. Amy just sent us the money for the period. Thank you, Amy. We are going to do work hard, play hard over the kitchen sink. I'm going to give them a bar stool in the corner in case they got friends because they only have two chairs. We're going to do a coffee pot here and a blender there. I'm going to move this plant in the corner here. I'm going to move this plant into the bathroom. Put it right next to the radiator. Let's do the little tight room first. We need to do a corner bed because nothing else is going to fit in here. We'll do this corner bed in here. We'll do this corner bed in here. We need some sort of lights. We will put these lights over the bed this way and we will put these lights over the bed in here this way. We got these sort of things. I wonder if that'll fit in there. Uh, yeah, it will. And I'm going to put the $999 television in here. Future gaming console. We'll give them that. We'll give them fighting orange game and I will give them this dino hop game. So they're gamers in this room. I'll give them a little cabinet. Up, oh, um, Amy's got a pack of rats in my flat. Any moment now, they'll start riding bikes in here. I'm gonna send my uncle in right away. Come on over here, Uncle Steve, and do that rat trap thing. You know, we just renovated this place. Do leave their garbage lying all around. Go in the kitchen, over here. One down there. Can we get them all? This rat doesn't want to walk in the trap. Thank you for helping me solve this problem. No problem. That's why Uncle Steve is here to save the day. We are going back to renovating Ferry Street so we can get some people in this place. An accurate hit poster right there. We'll give them the house flipper poster. We'll jam them a bunch of posters in this room. I'm going to give them this little cabinet. They have some life's advice books in there. And we're going off into the back bedroom. We will do this $399 desk right there. We'll give them this $499 chair. Give them a fan in here. They should get a cactus mug. Give this person a bottle of booze. His little table. They need to know what time it is. I'll put the calendar in here. I wonder if I can fit a cactus mug in here. I can. Let's put another plant in here. Maybe behind the door. Put this sound thing there. I really would like to put it right there. Maybe they do YouTubes. I'm gonna put this rug in here. There, I'm gonna put that one in there. I think we can have an open house. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do radio. We have rooms to rent and we're starting the event. Here is first individual and his name is Terry Pham. Terry thinks this place is looking good. Let's do a background check. He's liking it. 
background check on Terry Pham. He has no criminal record and no debt. A tenancy check on Terry Pham. Terry is looking at the room and he's still thinking it's good. And tenancy check. He's got no history. This guy's thinking. Declan McLean and Isaac Huff. Declan thinks it's fine. Let this guy think a little bit long. He, he likes this. He's going into the bigger room. Agnes sent us the money for the period. Thanks, Agnes. Declan McLean is thinking the room is fine still. Isaac Huff is thinking the room is fine. This guy's still thinking the room is good. I might just negotiate with him. Maybe I'll negotiate for 60 days. We'll try 2010. Make him an offer. Uh, no way I'm going to pay this much. But yeah, you know what? No, no. It is worth much more than that. Loving the plant in the corner. Okay, so Declan, we are going to do a background check on you. And what's this guy thinking? He's thinking it's fine still. Declan McLean has no criminal record and no debt. We're looking at his tenancy history. Maybe this will be the guy apartment. Declan has a fine tenancy. So let's negotiate with Declan. Let's do 120 days. He likes room number four. I guess that's only worth 950. Okay, we'll try 1,900. We'll make an offer with him. He's a cook. He makes much more money than the other person. He says $646. That seems to be what they go down to. Uh, we'll do $1,830. We'll make an offer. Just spends a lot of cash on this place, guy. $1,130. Worst deal ever. See, but he did go up almost double. $1,690. Make an offer. $1,292 is what he said. Is that the best you can do? $1,610. I'll make that offer. He does $1,373. I will accept his current offer. Hey, we have a tenant. We have to get the second tenant in here. Isaac is liking this room. Isaac, we're waiting for your criminal record. He's got no criminal record and no debt. And we're doing his tenancy. Ooh, he thinks this room's exceptional. Isaac's tenancy, uh, he's got a bad tenancy. I have to ask you to leave. Gotta go. I'm sorry, but you gotta go, sir. Nail Briggs. Nail is thinking about this room. He's looking at those lights. Anais Houston. I think I had her living in my place last season. She doesn't like it. Lewis Potts finds it unsatisfying. You can leave, Lewis. Niall thinks this place is good. We're gonna do a background check on Niall. Oh, he thinks it's exceptional. What's his criminal record? He has got none. Let's see what his tenancy is. He's got bad. You gotta leave. Andre, let's do a background check on you, even though you think it's only fine. Andre, oh, he's a felon. He's gotta leave. Zara sent us the money. Thank you, Zara. Gloria Rosales, she's thinking. Gloria, what do you think, Gloria? It's a little room. Uh, she finds it unsatisfying. Well, she is a, an athlete, and this is more of a gamer room. Amy sent us the money for the period. Thank you, Amy. Anias is thinking this place is good now. Anias is criminal record. She has no criminal record, but she has debt. I don't have a problem with that. Let's check her tenancy. Oh, she she has an excellent tenancy. Looks like she might have left. So I can't negotiate with her because she left. We waited too long on Anias. Uh, AJ, we're going to check your background. He's looking around the bathroom. AJ is thinking this room is fine. He's got no criminal record and no debt. We're going to check his tenancy history. He's looking at the sink. Uh, AJ's tenancy history is... Oh, he's got a good tenancy history, but I'm going to wait for his thing to go up to fine. Andre Alvarado. Let's do a background check on Andre. What is this lady? Bethany Rose. Bethany, we're going to do a background check on Bethany. Bethany. Oh, they all left. We got a new, another open house because we weren't fast enough. We did get one tenant in here and his name is Declan McLean. Greetings, Smitty. What a lovely place. I'm still trying to recharge my aura after moving in, but I'm pretty sure it will become stronger than ever. I hope our relations will flourish. Namaste, Declan McLean. We are going to have to have another open house. It did uh, improve our monthly cash flow. We are still negative $1,350. So we are renting room number two, which is the smaller room. We're going to rent it via the radio. That's $800. Let's start the event. He's loving this room. It says it's fine, but he's loving something in this room. Uh, the building manager says we have some noisy tenants here. I'm going to say, all right, I'll talk to them. We are waiting for our criminal record on Lewis Carlson. Lewis Carlson has no criminal record. Let's check his tenancy history. He's looking at this cactus, and he is thinking he thinks it's a good thing. He's got a fine tenancy with three at three places so let's negotiate with this individual here this will be the man apartment we mostly rent to women I noticed we're gonna rent this tiny little room for $3,980 I don't know why the bigger room rented for less
Yes. He's saying no way. $1,364. Yeah. Uh, how about $1,620, sir? He says, oh, worst deal ever. $2,387. Oh, uh, well, I'll come down a little bit. I'll come down to $1,300. And he says, oh, $2,728. $3,270. We'll make that off. He says, $2,898. Yeah, we'll accept that card. We have two people now, and I'm waiting to see what our monthly cash flow is. Oh, our monthly cash flow has not gone up that much. Oh, wait. Our monthly cash flow is now $1,215. So we are up from negative cash flow. I'm pretty happy about that. Let's see what Lewis Carlson has to say. Greetings, Smitty. What a lovely place. I'm still... Oh, they're Zen guys. Thank you. I have Zen guys in my apartment. Greetings, Smitty. What a lovely place. I'm still trying to recharge my aura after moving in, but I'm pretty sure it will become stronger than ever. I hope our relations will flourish. Namaste, Lewis Carlson. So we got two namaste guys in my flat. Pretty happy. Let's hope they don't have any arguments and break plates. Let's take a look at our, our tenants are sort of not happy. Zara's at work. We can't help her. Declan, I am going to give him a gift. I'm give him a thriller book. He likes modern literature. Here he is getting his present. Here you go. Thanks for moving into my flat. Oh my goodness. This gift is really nice. I like it a lot. Thanks. Let's take a look at our mobster friend here. He likes casual games. So I'm glad he moved into that area. And I'm going to see what our relationship is with Declan. Uh, we're still pretty low. We're going to have to see if we can improve our relations. I don't like them below 50%. He's at 44. He's at 49. He just moved in. We haven't had a chance to do much. We're researching him. But I think I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for stopping by our crooked house. If you like what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow Smitty on his journey to create his landlord empire. It really helps us out. Have a great week. See you soon.